Hello. Rotate your phone, bring your pen and write down the important points in your notebook. Ready? Welcome to Quick Literature Academy. Subscribe and press the bell icon for more literature videos. Snowball. Snowball is a thoughtful, cheerful pig who thinks of all the animals on the farm, not just himself. He comes up with the idea to build the windmill which will make work easier around the farm. Snowball and Napoleon's constant disagreements lead to his expulsion from the farm. He is removed from the farm. Throughout the story, Napoleon spreads terrible rumors that manipulate the animals' minds to think that he is better than Snowball and that Snowball is a troublemaker. Old Major Old Major is a wise, respected bow who is highly regarded by all the animals on the farm. Old Major's inspiring dream gives the animals the idea of animalism, a new life where the animals rule themselves. In Old Major's dream, the animals are all happy and singing Beasts of England, an anthem that the animals adopt when they free themselves from the humans. Napoleon Napoleon is a boar who is respected but uses his threatening nature to get what he wants. For example, he changes the original seven commandments to suit his needs. Napoleon works with Snowball at the beginning because their goals are the same. As the story progresses and his power grows, Napoleon turns against Snowball and exiles him to get full control of the farm. While the animals think he is making life on the farm easier, Napoleon is turning the farm back into a tyranny almost identical to Mr. Jones' rule. Napoleon obtains what he wants by using the terrifying threat of Jones will come back to get the animals to do as he says. Napoleon takes Snowball's idea of building the windmill, passes it off as his own and uses propaganda to make the animals believe that Snowball stole the idea from him. Squealer Squealer is an energetic pig who is well known for his persuasive speeches. While all the other animals are sleeping, Squealer changes the seven commandments to benefit the pigs rather than all the animals on the farm. Squealer uses propaganda to promote and glorify Napoleon's ideas while ruining Snowball's reputation. Clover Clover is a compassionate mare, an ordered female horse who symbolizes the motherly figure on the farm and makes life easier during the tough times. Clover is slightly suspicious of Napoleon and Squealer's actions. She believes they do not really want to fulfill old Major's dream of animals ruling themselves. Boxer Boxer is the strong, optimistic, hard-working cart horse who motivates all the animals on the farm by working and never giving up. Boxer has two mottos that he lives and abides by. I'll work harder and Napoleon is always right. Benjamin Benjamin is the pessimistic, cynical donkey who realizes that life after the rebellion is exactly the way it was under Jones before the rebellion. Benjamin is not very talkative except for when he talks to his good friend Boxer. Benjamin represents the intelligent, cynical people in the world who can see right through the fakes like Napoleon. Mr. Jones Mr. Jones is the lethargic farmer who once owned Manor Farm, but the animals kick him out because of his neglectful attitude towards them. Napoleon and Schooler work together to create a daunting image of Mr. Jones, even though Napoleon and Jones' methods of ruling are the same. Mr. Frederick Mr. Frederick is the tough, shrewd farmer who owns the small, neat Pinchfield farm. Mr. Frederick befriends Napoleon to cheat him out of a pile of timber and ends up destroying a windmill in trying to take over the farm. Mr. Pilkington Mr. Pilkington is the easygoing gentleman who owns the large, unorderly Foxwood farm. Mr. Pilkington befriends Napoleon and starts trade agreements that benefit them both. Mr. Wimper Mr. Wimper is the man who acts as the intermediary between animal farm and the outside world. Mr. Wimper is responsible for all the financial matters along with the trade agreements that Napoleon makes with other farms. Molly Molly is a pony who prefers being pampered by humans over her independence. Molly gets angered because she cannot have ribbons and sugar, reminders of human rule, so she runs away to Willington Farm, which you can guess is ruled by humans. Moses Moses is Mr. Jones' pet raven who acts as a spy for the humans. Moses leaves Animal Farm after the rebellion but soon returns 
He does no work and fills the animals' heads with false ideas such as sugar candy mountain and the animal heaven. Dogs The dogs are Napoleon's guards who are raised in solitude. The dogs escort Napoleon everywhere, giving him a frightening and slightly superior edge that allows him to get what he wants. The dogs help carry out Napoleon's requested executions of the animals who disobey his orders. Thanks for watching. Do like and subscribe. Comment below if you want a video on some topic.